Yeah, I hope you're all amazing. And if you are not, I hope my video puts a smile on your beautiful faces and makes you laugh. And we're back for day four of the 12 days of anime. For day four, I just wanted to talk about my experience this year at a local convention that I go to um, every year. I have since about 2000 and seven eight and the convention is called avcon it is held every july i have gone nearly every single year except last year i didn't go so i hadn't been for about a year and a half and this year um i finally went with a friend who had never been before um i was only able to go for one day which was on the saturday and um the cool thing about avcon is they have different themes every year and the theme this year was about evolution so it was like all futuristic and I think that was focusing on the evolution of anime, how much it has changed over the last decade. So that was a pretty cool theme to have. Not that everybody who attends the convention actually has to stick to cosplaying around that theme. It's just something fun about this convention. So I went on the Saturday and I actually did a cosplay and I'll be putting little pictures throughout the video um, as well. It was kind of last minute um, that I had to put together a cosplay. And honestly, it was all out of my wardrobe because it's winter when this convention happens, so I weren't going to freeze my butt off. Not in all those other revealing cosplays, cosplays where I'm like, oh, I don't know how you do it. I would have froze my butt off. But I decided to go, I bring out an oldie um, that I did. Oh, 2014 I did it. I decided to do a winter edition of Sakura from Cardcaptor Sakura. It felt really good to do Sakura and... Um, uh, it was, you know, it was honestly just all last minute um, putting together. I had an old wig that I was going to use for Kari from Digimon. In this photo, since then I have actually lost a lot of weight, so I'm not as like chubby as in this photo. It was so good to be Sakura, and when it comes to cosplay, when I got into cosplay, I have to at least try and get as close to the cosplay as I can. So that's why, like, I, you know, I use my kiro plushie i had the stick the the staff from the old anime of card captor sakura me and my dad made um when i first did sakura back in 2014 so i just spruced that up a little bit and i had the cloud book which my pen pal from N new zealand sent over which she entrusted me with such a precious thing so um, i had to take i take very good care of that and it even had the cloud cards. I got those off of eBay. And the shoes, I adore the shoes. I had those red shoes for such a long time. Um, I decided to reuse those. And yeah, everything else was from a secondhand shop and out of my wardrobe. So honestly, you don't need to buy new cosplay in order to do a cosplay, honestly. That's why casual cosplays are so good because you know what, just pick what you're out you want out of your wardrobe and just put on a wig and like you're ready to go. When me and my friend first got there, we decided to check out the artist alley because usually uh, during the morning it's quiet and then later in the day it gets really, really busy. And uh, yeah, artist alley this year was so good. It always is. Um, honestly, I tried to not buy <gasps> so much of what was there. I think I only ended up buying a card capture Sakura print and a bookmark. Um, I just bought Card Captor Sakura stuff from Artist Alley. I only bought a couple of things because I was on, on a bit of a, you know, budget, which sucks when you go to a con, but honestly, it's good when you budget yourself when you go to a convention. <sighs> then you don't feel so bad that you've, like, spent all your money. Yeah, my friend adored Artist Alley. She loved seeing all of the different prints and merchandise, a lot of Haikyuu stuff. Oh my goodness, there was just so many, a lot of new anime stuff because usually at this convention you see a lot of old anime merchandise a lot so there was a bit of newer stuff related to new anime from like this year and last year so that was good to see and um during this convention i ran into um like some old faces that i had seen in previous conventions um i, I did get a few photos with a few cosplayers i found a sailor jupiter <gasps> of course i found a sailor jupiter i had to find a sailor jupiter I found a actually female Hisoka cosplayer of all things. So um, I had to tag my friend Gigi from Anime Palooza on Twitter with that one because I knew that she'd go Goo Goo Gaga because she loves Hisoka. So, and uh, ran to a Princess Anastasia. And the cosplay level definitely has gone up um, in terms of the quality of cosplays people are doing now these days. It has just gone up from when I first 
remember doing cosplay. Um, I'll tell you a fun fact. My first cosplay I ever did was actually Sailor Jupiter, of course. And my mum made me wear those bl some black le leggings underneath because the skirt was like so short and it looks so awful. Like, um, I just, you look at those kind of photos from way back then, you're like, oh my God, why? Why did I wear that? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> through the course of the day, um, me and my friend, we just honestly played it by ear. We hadn't planned to see anything in particular. Some of the panels this year weren't overly that amazing. There was a Yuri on Ice panel that was interesting going in, but we didn't end up attending that. Um, we ended up going to, there was a lot of anime screenings, so me and my friend sat down and watched a bit of anime. Um, I actually saw the first two episodes of The Death Parade and we watched a bit of Nichijo, which I'd never seen before, that comedy. Bloody hilarious. I know I need to actually sit down and watch it and, and Death Parade. Uh, one fun story, there's one li anime license here called um, Siren Visual and they always come to every convention. Um, Siren Visual is a really cool um, home distributor of anime because they usually um, pick up titles that usually American titles that we don't get here and um, I know the person who's in charge of the Siren Visual and the Matt. He is a awesome dude. I met him in 2016. He's always there every year at the stall and it, you know I was surprised he even recognized me or remembered me and he was just an awesome dude. He was. It was really good to see him and honestly this convention was the most relaxed I'd ever been because other ones have been so busy so just sometimes a bit chaotic. It was just really chill to be honest and um, I did buy like some things. I never posted anyway and I never did a haul because I didn't get that many things. I did get some manga and I did buy a couple of anime anime. Um, one of them was um, will be featured because part of my 12 days of anime I'm doing a mini haul video it's right on day 12 I decided to do for my last day so you'll see what I got from the convention then. Um, but you know it was nice I just bought some things got to see some more faces my friend really enjoyed the convention her first um, anime convention ever and um, you know I am I think the only drawback for me I guess was that I didn't like um, didn't get to see like the cosplay competition or anything like that um, but you know it's kind of like last minute that we decided to go and um, surprisingly I got so many compliments about my cosplay which I didn't think was anything that amazing really so that was my experience with um, Avcon if you ever come into Australia you should definitely come check out Avcon um, I still love it and hopefully I will go next year because there's a fellow blogger that I've convinced to go there to Happy Cats. If you're watching this, we'll definitely, definitely meet at Avcon next year. Yes. Let me know down below what conventions you've attended this year and what have been your favorite like highlight. You can tell me some stories. I can tell you some stories. We can just, you know, back and forth. Story time. So this concludes day four of the 12 days of anime. And what clue can I give you for the next one because you know I've actually forgotten what order I put I'm doing these videos oh yes okay next hint for day five I will be talking about a series I talked about last year but it made a return this year <sighs> yeah and it is to do with summer and water that's all I'm gonna give you hints now see ya tomorrow bye bye